this is the uh, part two of my <coughs> this lecture is uh, very important the first uh, then the first lecture uh, here you will see that the uh, this is the lateral view of the chest x-ray you see different uh, cavities or different um, areas of the chest x-ray seen in lateral view or where we have to look for you see this is the anterior mediastinum this is the uh, anterior uh, cavity this is the middle cavity and the, this is the posterior cavity the, basically this is not a cavity uh, these are the the middle cavity contains the mediastinal components and this is basically the retrosternal area and this is basically the retrocardiac area as the sternum lies in front of this area so this is the retrosternal area and as the heart lies in front of this area this is the retrocardiac area in this x-ray there are some hidden areas which are very important you see these are the apical regions and this is the heart and these are the subdiaphragmatic or area into under the hemidiaphragms <clears throat> these apical regions uh, you can see very easily that the ribs are very much overlapping here first rib second rib third rib three ribs almost uh, covered the area and only few areas is remained uh, where through which we can see the lung field and behind the heart there may be some lesions in the lungs but we cannot also see those areas in this image so this is also another hidden area and lung tissues are definitely present under the hemidiaphragms uh, uh, in these areas so we also have to look for lung lesions under the hemidiaphragms in chest x-ray peer views okay i all i have already uh, told you that what are the hidden areas this is a diagrammatic image where you will see the uh, in other style so this is a chest x-ray the hidden areas are apices, the red arrows, the mediastinum and the hilum, the green arrows, the hemidiaphragms on both sides, the curved arrows and the bones. In this x-ray, you see the ribs, the arrangement of the ribs. The more horizontal lines are the posterior ends and the oblique lines are the anterior ends of the ribs. The lung has lobes we know anatomically the right lung has three lobes and the left lung has two lobes but in chest x-ray we have uh, dissected or we have imagined uh, the whole lung field in three zones on both sides anterior inferior aspect of the anterior end of the second rib if we draw an imaginary line through this way this will be a horizontal line the area above this line will be the upper zone and from the inferior aspect from the line inferior to the inferior aspect of the anterior end of the second rib up to the inferior aspect of the anterior end of the fourth rib this area if we draw another horizontal line this area will be the mid zone and the area under this second line will be lower zones there are CP angles that is cardiophrenic angle and costophrenic angles. These are called the CP angles. There may be some efficiency on the left side here as the angle is not acute. The trachea, this is the tracheal shadow. This is very important in case of any uh, lung uh, apical mass or in case of any thyroid mass, the trachea may be shifted. In lateral view, we also can see the hemidiaphragms. You see uh, there are lines um, uh, in the lateral views uh, L, that is LD that is left diaphragm and the RD is right diaphragm there is another technique that is fundic gash usually we know that the stomach gash or stomach lies on the left side so the fundic gash will be under the left hemidiaphragm so above these two concave lines the, uh, un, uh, just under the the fundic gash will lie just under the left hemidiaphragm the sternum the area anterior to this uh, to this uh, ex, uh, anterior to the chest the bones is called sternum so we have to see the retrosternal areas as well as the sternal junction 
<clears throat> this area shows the cardiophrenic and costophrenic angles and the, the left hemidiaphragm usually lies a bit lower than the right hemidiaphragm. If the right hemidiaphragm is more than 3 cm than the left hemidiaphragm upward, uh, if, the, uh, if it is more than 3 cm upwards than the left hemidiaphragm, we call it elevated right hemidiaphragm. But if the left hemidiaphragm is just along the level of the right hemidiaphragm, then we call the left hemidiaphragm is also elevated. The right hemidiaphragm lies a bit upwards and the left hemidiaphragm lies a bit low, downwards because the heart lies over the left hemidiaphragm. These are the diaphragmatic lines and also the height of the dome or height of the highest point of the dome of the diaphragms are very important. If it is more, if the convexity is more than 1.5 cm, it also it is also 